My name's James Sennard, and in July I rode from Land's End to John O'Groats on the Brompton. Uh, that's 1,347 kilometres in three and a bit days. For this trip I was supported by Albion, uh, who provided the kit, Brompton, who provided a P-Line bike, and Restrap, who provided the bags. So I chose to do it on a Brompton because I think it's an amazing bike and uh, it's really versatile. Some people don't realise just how versatile and capable it is, uh, particularly in terms of comfort, speed and gearing. And yeah, uh, just wanted more people to know that it's an awesome little bike. I mean, the cool thing about the Albion stuff is it's super light, so uh, you can get quite a lot of insulation into a really small space for not much of a weight penalty. So I had an insulated jacket, I had leg warmers, I had arm warmers. Uh, and also in the day, just I had a super nice, uh, lightweight summer riding kit and their pocket bib. So uh, that was just really easy to stay cool and comfy in the day, but then could whack everything on when it got cold. And there was just, there was one moment where classic Scotland, it was, it was 30 degrees. That's not classic Scotland, but it was, it was 30 degrees. And then this, uh, the thunder came in and there was like a biblical, thunderstorm and all of a sudden it was down to like 15 um, so I had to put everything on it was a real test of the waterproofness. The bags were just awesome in terms of uh, I had full faith that they were going to be waterproof and they were going to look after my stuff and the easy easy access uh, to it as well was really important. I've had other bags from other brands before and they just can get a bit floppy, a bit hard to open, um, or they're just gonna, they're gonna leak if it rains, but the, the restrap ones were just really solid, really easy to open and just had nice touches like mesh pockets on the outside uh, for putting those bits you really need access to, um, whether, whether it's food, whether it's, uh, I had the Albion backpack all the time in, in one of the mesh pockets for grabbing stuff from, from a garage and things like that. But um, it's mainly just reassurance knowing that it'll work. Just nice little touches like the, the bright orange zips just look cool and it really helps when it's dark and things like that. You can just see where the zip is straight away and grab it. So uh, yeah, there were a few uh, tweaks I made to the bike uh, just to make it um, uh, suitable as possible for, uh, for, the, for the big distance. So had the standard four-speed Brompton uh, derailleur on the back, but added uh, Shimano, um, Shimano Altegra uh, crank set with, um, with a double, so a 52 uh, and a 36 chainring on the front um, with, uh, with a Dura Ace, um, so a road front derailleur as well. So that just changed it from a four-speed to an eight-speed, um, just with the, the derailleur clamped on, um, clamped onto the frame using a Sunrace um, friction shifter for the front derailleur. So just a bit more, uh, a bit more versatility in the four speed, um, mainly for those hills around Kendall in the Lake District and uh, up near Inverness as well, where it gets a bit lumpy. The aero bars help massively. When you're riding 15 hours a day, you really just need hand position. So we just had to get a new, uh, we had to get a different bar from the standard bar so that uh, there was a clamping area we could put the aero bars on. People are really fond of the Schwalbe Marathon Racer and the Conti, uh, the Continental Contact Urbans, which go on two of our bikes and are really popular, really fast and puncture resistant. The, the Schwalbe ones, you trade off a bit of puncture resistance, but they're the fastest by a long way. So I went, yeah, I went with those. It was going to be hot, it was going to be summer, not too much city riding, so I took a chance that uh, that would pay off and I wouldn't get too many punctures. I took four inner tubes with me, but didn't use any of them. Uh, the tyres were awesome, they were comfy, uh, they were fast, yeah. The exposure lights, it's about reassurance and feeling safe. And I think the back one lasts 48 hours. So I just, I had that on all day. Um, for vi visibility, I was taking quite a direct route um, that was it was really busy, a lot of lorries and things like that. So I just, I always wanted to be seen. So I had a bright jersey, but it was really important to have a bright light that was going to last. The whole ride through is just a reassurance knowing you've got the stuff to deal with all conditions. It's just a, a thing you don't have to worry about, which is when you do long stuff, it's just nice to know that in an emergency, you can just put stuff on and it's fine. And it's going to look after you.